à l'eau. Euh, ok, I mean, first impression is, uh, I do not wish to be insulting, but uh, you look a little uh, beaten up. You have a black eye and uh, a little poof on the forehead. And say a bit of uh, aubergine in that, I can, you know, I can work with that, but this, uh, no, this is not, I do not wish to paint your face, I'm sorry. Hmm? Oh, okay, I'm here to sketch from your memory the face of the man that attacked you. Oh, well. This is more interpretive than I'm used to, but, uh, well, let us uh, give it a go. I am, how you say, game for a laugh, so I have my artist pencil and pad over here. Uh, and a lovely blank canvas on which to interpret your uh, attacker's face. We can give it a go. Bon. Well, if you just care to describe to me what, uh, what kind of... I'll tell you what I like. Uh, I really like filling in the blank spaces first. So if you tell me what kind of forehead he had, um, approximately how many inches across it was. Okay. Perfect. That is a nice big blank space there on the page. Uh, and what kind of cheeks did he have? Were they sallow? Did it look like he had some molars removed so that his cheekbones were, you know, like I say, uh, Tom York from Radiohead has the kind of sunken cheeks or was he more kind of full in his face like a little hamster? Mm. Just plain cheeks, okay, we can And now, the neck. What is the neck looking like here? You did not see his neck. He was wearing a polo neck shirt. Okay. What color was the polo neck shirt? He was dressed entirely in black. A very fashion conscious uh, criminal. This is good. Where I come from. Uh, in uh, La Belle Francaise, he uh, completely black with the black polo neck was a very popular look back in the day, so he, uh, he was probably a beat poet or something. Uh, probably some kind of artist, maybe a, uh, maybe some kind of uh, comedian, eh? Uh, so that a term to crime because he failed at being a comic. He added uh, maybe he thought he was a cat burglar, no, just a hostage taker. He added hostage taker to his sobriquet. Maybe lovely. This failed comedian who has turned to a life of crime in order to. I don't know, pay the gas bills or something. Just basic, basic payments that he is getting from your uh, kidnap. Anyway, moving on, what kind of air did he have? Air like an old lady, okay. What is this? He also had sideboards, like Howard from the Big Bang Theory. Oh, okay. 
I know where you're, you're going with this now, yeah. Ah, uh, this is good. Air like an old lady. And sideboards like Howard from the Big Bang Theory. This is already one of my favorite drawings. I think this is going to be a masterpiece. Yes, I might hang this in the gallery. The gallery of rogues. Yes. Okay, so what kind of uh, nose did he have? A big Jewish nose. Are you some kind of racist? Doing a racist profile? Oh no, he did have a big Jewish nose. Okay, well, I can, I can draw this in here. There we go. And lips? Did he have big lips like a cow, or did he have thin little lips like uh, the Duke of Edinburgh? Thin, thin lips. Okay. Thin lips. Did he have any other facial hair? Just stubble like man, okay, just a bit of stubble there, perfect. Now, eyebrows, they were, they were partially obscured behind large round glasses. Okay, and uh, what kind of glasses did he have? Well, yes, I know they were round, you just told me they were round. I just draw two big circles then, shall I? The eyeballs themselves. Uh, what kind of eyes did he have? What color? Blue. Okay. Blue. Obviously, I'm drawing in. Uh, well, this is not charcoal. This is uh, this is merely uh, graphite or whatever they put in the pencils. It's not lead. That would be poisonous and ridiculous. No, this is graphite. So it is not in color. It comes. But I have a Crayola back at the workshop and I can fill it in later. So I will just remember with my mind that you said that he has blue eyes. Uh, it is all interpretive anyway. And the ears with a, uh, with a big and flapping about like Dumbo or were they small ears like a, a baby piglet or something with the little little tiny flaps hmm? they are kind of a on the tumbo scale uh, zero being no ears and ten being too many ears uh, of the tumbo scale what size about a four okay big Big flappers and fairly big flappers. Okay, this is good. Do you know, I always prefer someone whose ears stick out from their head because it means that I get a full view of the ear and I don't have to like peer around the corner and all this kind of stuff. In my ideal world, the perfect subject would be someone who I could see the back of their head when I look at the front of them as well. If they just had like a completely flat head. I like to work in uh, two dimensions. Stuff your three dimensions. That is such a imperialist Western way of working. I like two dimensions. Like uh, the Japanese, much better. Anime, all flat, lovely. I love it very much. Anyway, okay. Uh, well, well, we suddenly have got quite the picture here. I oh. Look at this guy. Is this the guy that uh, attacked you? He's a very ugly man. I think he is uh, the most ugly man I have ever seen. He's disgusting. I would not uh, wee on him if he were on fire. I think 
that would be God's way of dealing with this problem here. So, mm. but ours not to pass judgment. I mean, well, technically, uh, this is the police. Yeah, we we pass judgment over the time, uh, but uh, anyway, uh, right. Well, I will go and give this to my superior, and thank you. You're not the best that I've ever worked with, but it was memorable. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I believe they have got a uh, a doctor coming to just uh, poke around in you and make sure that uh, you are all. Uh, Tickety boo. So uh, I will go and inform the doctor that uh, that you are ready for him. A pleasure working with you, and I hope never to see you again in my entire life. Oh hi, hi there. Listen, we don't have much time, so I've. Uh, Got to be quite uh, quick but thorough about this. So, um, hi, I'm a, uh, I'm, I'm definitely a doctor. My name is uh, David. How are you? I'm, uh, I'm not usually, uh, you know, a, a, a police doctor, but I am. I'm on loan. I'm a loan doctor. I'm also. Um, Quite, quite a lonely doctor, and uh, you know, just, just on the lookout for a, uh, a, a life partner, a companion. You know, it's kind of my thing. Just go around picking up uh, friends, friends. I, I pick up friends, companions, assistants, if you. If you like, whatever, you know. And uh, I just, I saw you in here, and I thought, my gosh, you are the, uh, the, the loveliest looking uh, victim of a terrible crime that I've ever seen. And I just thought that I would pop in. And I mean, I do actually have to uh, to do an exam uh, on you as well. But uh, my God. darkest eyes that I've ever seen. I mean, that one's really quite dark, isn't it? That's the, that's the, uh, the black eye, yes. That's, but it's, it's very fetching. You, you wear it very well. It's very, um, it's very chic, very trendy, I think. Not to make light of uh, any form of abuse whatsoever, but um, but you know, you do you do wear it very well. Anyway, um right, I should I should while I'm while I'm at your eyes, why don't I give you a quick uh, a quick a quick test to see if you can still see. I mean obviously you can see me, I could see that, but uh, I'm just going to uh, do a quick light test here. So if you can just follow this like that, there we go. There we go, just then up yeah, and, and down. There we go, and around like that. And I'm just, I'm just going to give you a um, little secret number here. Uh, 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 it's just... I am I am writing it backwards, but you'll you you you'll work it out and then if you can just just call this number when you've figured out what it is. And then uh No, that wasn't a Z, that was a set don't don't, don't worry about that, but just, okay, fine. Don't it's it's fine. I'll uh I'll, I'll pop it on a piece of paper for you and just leave it with the uh with the inspectors if you if you wanted to um you know, uh, maybe um, meet up somewhere a bit, a bit more, well, not a police interview uh, room, you know, a bit more uh, 
maybe romantic, maybe romantic, then this, this isn't exactly the most uh, salubrious of uh, confines. It's quite, um, it's quite policey, isn't it? It's quite, you know, you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't bring your mother here for, uh, for afternoon tea, that kind of um, so that's the uh, that's the, the sight test done, and now I'm just gonna with this uh, pen I'm just gonna click it to test your uh, audio response up here. Uh -huh. to be able to hear fine as well so great so you can um, just gonna just gonna make extra sure that you can hear me uh, you uh, you you want to get out of here you want to go somewhere nice with me huh? what do you think about that hey or, uh, Got a car waiting outside. We could just we could run away together. We could um, no. What do you reckon? <sighs> no, no, it's fine. I just um, it's all right. I've been rejected before. It's fine. I water off a duck's um, feathers. It's absolutely fine. I mean, I'm just here to, just here to test you. It's, I don't take it all personally. That's, uh, it's all right. Now I'm just going to listen to your, uh, your heartbeat, uh, to find out if it's elevated at all when I say, I love you. Oh, bit of a flutter. Bit of a flutter. I, I, I have to be with you. Oh my, yes. Well, that could be an indicator of high blood pressure. So you probably want to get a, uh, your GP to check you out on there. No, this was all a test. To just to test you. And uh, you passed. You're fine. You're absolutely fine. You're going to be fine. You're a bit, uh, you know, banged up, but... Um, Probably the uh, chloroform, just the last of that. You might find that you've fallen in and out of consciousness, which is the correct medical term, I believe, for consciousness, uh, one or two times, but keep it about a week, you'll be right as rain. Uh, I'm, I'm almost positive. I'm pretty certain that you're fine. Hmm? Oh no, I just had to say all that stuff to make sure that you were... Uh, Hundred uh, percent, you know, uh, which is how we grade these things in the medical profession. And you are, you're about a seventy-nine. You're, you're getting on for eighty. You'll be up and about in no time, I'm sure. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for coming in to see me, and uh, and uh, I guess I'll. Uh... Oh, I came in to see you. I did. I did. That's true. Well, I should leave you alone now, and uh, heaven knows I should leave you alone. I don't want to, <laughs> because you really are just lovely. Um, but I will, I will, I will leave you alone now. And I think my uh, colleagues in the uh, department, the uh, the inspector and his sidekick or whoever that guy is, have just got a bit to. Uh, say to you now, so, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna let you get a bit of rest, a bit of shut-eye, and then just have a snooze, and then I'll, uh, uh, I'm sure they'll be back with you, uh, any, any time now, so, okay. Night for now. Okay, well, um, yes, it is a bit of a shame, uh, that, uh, 
Put your man there as uh, just uh, giving us the slip, which, uh, given that he was in custody to start with, is uh, it's a slight embarrassment for the force. I'm not going to lie, but um, but thanks to you, we've got uh, this lovely uh, uh, representation of his uh, visage. So. Um, and it is lovely, I mean, what a handsome chap. Sorry, not to be insensitive, but he is, um... What do you think, there's something about him, no? That's, uh... That's quite, uh... Mmm. Gosh, what big blue eyes is... <laughs> Sorry, yes. Anyway, uh, we, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna get our best people on it. I mean, we are the best people, really, but, uh... Maybe some... Some even even more of us, but you know, the more the uh, the more the merrier. You know the expression, don't you? Too many cooks. Too many cooks spoil the broth, but too many policemen catch the crim. That's the extended version of that um, maxim, idiom, or uh, what have you. So um, great. Well, thanks for coming in. And uh, do do you have somewhere that you can go? I noticed that your house was. Um, a bit open to the elements. Uh, what? Oh no, we, we're, we're definitely keeping the bookshelves. Sorry, that's... They're his now. They're, they bought them fair and square, definitely. Didn't you? So, uh, maybe we can get you a, a, a Tesco meal deal for your trip home. How about that? Bit of uh, bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwich and uh, a sunny delight, maybe. And um, a bag of Watsits, maybe. Bit of chocolate in there, a bit of uh, a caramac, whisper gold, something like that. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you liked it, please be sure to subscribe. And if you really liked it, why not check out my Patreon? Thanks.